In India, 1.6 million people die because of air pollution. If you look globally, India has six out of the top 10 most air polluted cities. Vehicular pollution contributes to 40% of that. In India, there were a lot of companies building electric vehicles, but still the uptake was not there because of lack of charging infrastructure. The vision of the company is to make sustainable transport possible with accessible, affordable and reliable EV charging. I grew up in the northern part of the country, mostly in a small town in Hisarvik. I loved cricket a lot, so as a child, it was my dream to play for the country and I also played for my state and I still love it. In the company, most of our teammates love cricket and we on the weekends go out and play. I met Akshit through a mutual friend. I could have honestly not asked for a better co-founder. Co-founder relationships are tough and I think we are good friends. I grew up in a very small town uh, in Uttarakhand. My first sight to urban air pollution was actually when I went to the bigger cities of the country and I was uh, shocked to see the difference between the small town and the entire urban life in terms of the pollution. While we were working in Bangalore, we realized that there were old diesel cars, old diesel buses, which were contributing a lot to the air pollution in the city, and we wanted to solve for this problem. If all two-wheelers and three-wheelers in India can be converted into electric, we would reduce the volatile emissions by 76%. India has a very fragmented and a very unreliable charging network. Unlike developed countries like US, Europe, where people can charge their vehicles at home because they have garages, India is very densely populated. 80% of the charging happens in public spaces. Today, there's only one charger for every thousand cars. So we thought there's a gap in the market. Anybody with a property can sign up with us and we help them install a charger. And we do revenue sharing with them. So once a site is finalized, our team goes and does a site survey there. We find out what is the best location to install a charger, if there's a grid upgrade required or not, if transformers need to be placed or not. So once the site survey is completed, we ship the material, we lay the cables, we do a foundation where we install the charger on, and we then switch on the power supply, we connect it to the software, and it becomes a part of our whole network. We've made a customer-facing app. When you first open the app, you discover chargers nearby. We've done vehicle profiling, route planning, all of that to make sure that the discoverability is very easy. Once you find a charger, you just have to plug the connector in the car, and you press a start now button. Then you can monitor the charging session in real time. And we have got integrated payments in the app. We are trying to make sure that people who come to charge their vehicles have a positive sentiment about charging them. Charging should be as easy as going on a fuel pump and refueling their cars. We've learned through the R&D process that these chargers, specifically for developing countries like India, cannot be imported. The charger needs to be weatherproof for high humidity, high temperature, which a lot of these imported chargers do not have. So we've done a lot of innovations and we're keeping on improving on the hardware. Efficiency of an electric vehicle is 2.5 times of a normal IC car. So it's already efficient, even though today most of the energy actually comes from fossil fuel in India. There's a shift happening across the entire energy sector. There's a transition and the energy production is shifting from fossil fuels to renewable. And India has very, very aggressive targets to move to net zero by 2050. We want to lead that change. Today it's just plug-in charging, tomorrow we want to do wireless charging and we want to just keep on innovating. My name is Raghav Arora and I am the co-founder and CTO at Static. My name is Akshat Bansal and I am the co-founder and CEO at Static.